Hawkington! Yes, there's no G in Hawkington. Oh. <laughs> All right, I didn't know that was coming, but uh, those were the words of Roger Cabler and Robin Williams coming out of my mouth, kind of. And I'm here in Roger Cabler's studio to learn more about him, to learn about his projects and his life as a Meet Your Neighbor program, and also get to meet Robin Williams a little bit, too. I know it will be fun, interesting, and meaningful. It's okay. <laughs> Are we doing this? We're doing this. Oh, we're in. Yes, so please uh, teach me, Robin. I'm here to teach you the <laughs> art of improvisation. Freeze! No. What we're doing, really, is giving you a way to communicate that opens people up their hearts. Poof, poof, mm -hmm. poof. You know, so when you improvise, wait, we're improvising now. My dialogue is coming from a desire to be of service to this situation here mm -hmm. in Hopkang Town. Yes. So, Cheryl, mm -hmm. every conversation's an improvisation, but what are we really saying? Are we really getting at the heart of the matter? Because in my work, every moment is a little play where we tell the truth. So, how are you? How am I? I am, I am listening carefully and going slow and curious. And I can see all of that in your eyes, mm -hmm. and yet you're happy to be here, too. Yes. I'm so happy, I could really just run to the bathroom right now. But well. that's the truth, but it's also <laughs> pee-pee caca, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And I've got I, you I laughing. Understand. And it's also slightly awkward and naughty, mm -hmm. and that's the essence of my comedy, too. Mm -hmm. So can you say something slightly awkward and naughty that's on your mind? <sighs> just to free yourself. <laughs> what is it, what are you thinking? Yes. Uh, you know, pee pee caca. Uh, I think of my dog, Junie. Cuny? Uh, you know. Uh, Is that her, her name? Junie. Junie. Yes. I thought uh -huh. you said Cuny. No. Like, are my Cuny calls okay? <laughs> no. No, but Junie. Junie. Uh, what kind of dog? 15 and a half Labrador. <gasps> oh, wow, a schlepperdoodle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gotta go now. Don't mind me. Uh -huh. We call him Scooch. No. <laughs> Uh, really, how, how, so that's what I mean by improvising. Uh -huh. It's sort of true and yeah. it's sort of sad. And, yes. Uh -huh. And you brought this up. So mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. and, and then it completely railed your, your, your I'm Should sorry. I'm, oh, my yeah. lips, these little lips fail oh, me sometimes yeah, after yeah. the dentist. Mm -hmm. It's a crazy film. <laughs> so tell me more about your dog. My dog, Junie, uh, is wonderful. And she has been with me for 15 and a half years. Uh, and she takes me out in the morning for an amazing walk in the backyard uh, because uh, she was uh, barking uh, very early in the morning and irritated uh, someone down the street we didn't even know. Who came irritated? To Whoa, yes. how did you feel? What did you want to tell them? What did you want to tell them deep the down? Oh, she... yes. yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, we're hiding. <laughs> I'm gonna yes. stick my labradoodle on you. Get off! <laughs> get off my lawn. Get off my get off my back. She has, she's uh, vicious uh, with uh, um, her love. I'm sorry. She's I can't vicious say with her love. You mean the neighbor or your dog? Uh, my dog. Good, yeah. because I don't know. Gone, the neighbor's gone. <laughs> what have you done with her? <laughs> so you understand. The, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm trying to just. We're talking about the truth, but we're also looking for the funny. Why we do it? Our minds are just sort of wandering. Mm -hmm. And I'm used to doing it. This is what I do for work. But I think you're doing wonderfully. Your your heart is right there. I see you. Mm -hmm. And this is a big part of it too. Mm. Well, it's a great training, and it is liberating and fun. Also. I'm glad, and I see this. I see that we're liberated because otherwise we'd be like. So what do you want to talk about now? <laughs> no, we have to. We have to free yourself. Let your spirit yes. fly. Mm -hmm. You know, otherwise it's sort of like suppressing yourself on a first date, like, really gotta go now? You know, it's like, okay. And then you get home, oh, let's party! You know, and you've saved all that free, fun energy for yourself and not with your, your partner. You let them know who you are. Mm -hmm. So I took some stand-up comedy classes, Robin, years ago. Oh, really? And I used to do a little open mic. I would read, basically. Maybe oh. I remembered a little bit, but I remember the last time it was 14 men at a bar somewhere and the man saying on my way out, don't quit your day job as a really? psychologist. <laughs> wow, thank you, Mr. Bar Judge. <laughs> What, what, what is he doing? Is he one of the comedians? I, I don't. Don't quit your day. Take advice from a drunk. That's what I say. Yes, you're, ha yes. you're having a vowel movement. Please tell me everything. Well, that would be interesting to use a vowel movement. I'll try to remember. What's a Robin Williams <laughs> line? Yes, one of yours. And one of mine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, well. oh, we're still playing that. Not anymore. Not anymore. We're done now. Okay. Hi. Hi, Roger. Hi. So, um, Hi, Cheryl. What, what just happened? I just thought it would be fun. It's near Halloween. I thought I'd put on a little rouge and party. Yes. Um, you know, uh -huh. I'm working on this film, and it requires me to stay in, in character for long periods of time. Shut up! Don't tell them! It's okay. No, shh. I got this. You had your chance. 
Mm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm so, sorry, what was the uh, question? So, uh, what just happened? Um, yeah. We well, heard from Robin Williams. <laughs> well, I decided to put it on and do, you know, the educational portion yes. as Robin, mm. just to see, you know, how that would go. And uh, it's play. It's a form of play. Extreme play, no doubt. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a put on a whole other character, it's, it's work. Yes. It's right. fun work. Uh -huh. Well, I, I have a little idea of the great complex work that is. And because you're in psychology. Well, perhaps that and perha the task of even that small three minutes of uh, yeah. teaching me that uh, to get an idea of what you are doing. You know what's amazing, the time that we were doing that, I felt this stability underneath you and this, this foundation of decency and humanity that I felt I could go off and be safe and you totally got what what we were doing mm -hmm. and that was that was a nice connection and mm -hmm. I, I appreciate the show that you're doing this well thank you thank neighbor you. <laughs> yes well since we are neighbors uh, you are back here in Hopkinton and you've been around the country a bit uh, yeah. in your life yeah I mean I was uh, I grew up in Framingham and I I decided to be an actor when I was done being a fisherman. I said, if I ever mm -hmm. see land again, I'm going to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And I, I You were a literal fisherman? Yeah, I was yes. when I was 18. I went out um, with Bob Brown, who owned the Andrew Gale from um, wow. The Perfect Storm. Mm -hmm. So I wow. knew the guy who owned that boat, mm -hmm. and I worked for him. Mm -hmm. And it was a, been a crazy adventure. And then I didn't want to die at sea, so mm -hmm. I came home and you know, enrolled in an acting school. Mm -hmm. And then I went to New York. I did some plays here and uh, went to New York to study. And then uh, after some really uh, eye-opening experiences as an actor on stage, I became a, a stand-up comedian and did impressions, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. which I'd been doing ever since I was a kid. Anyway. Ah, mm -hmm. so. Oh, I was curious about that. So yeah. uh, back down the street in Framingham, you were starting impersonating and stand-up comedy as a child. Yeah, I wanted to uh, express myself that way, although art was a big thing, too. I'd stay home from school and draw, you mm -hmm. know, like, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> And uh -huh. then I just, I locked the door and draw. Drawing. And, yeah, it was and very, very um, obsessive, um, mm -hmm. compulsive activity mm -hmm. for me. And we are here in your art studio. Welcome and, to uh, Fantasy Island. Yes, <laughs> yes. And it's just uh, really interesting art around you. Thank uh, you. And uh, beauty. Uh, we talk about the haunting dog there looking right at us. Yes. Uh, Do you say haunting or hunting? I said haunting. <laughs> no, that's Izzy. That's my mascot. Uh -huh. She just... Uh, she kept my mother company when she was in the hospital. My mother would talk to her at night, and mm -hmm. she kind of gives back a little love. Mm. You know. Oh, absolutely, through your art. Thanks. And, uh, and what is this behind you? Uh, you? This is uh, Bobby Orr, yeah. Big Poppy, Larry Bird, and, and Tom Brady. Yes. It's Mount Rush Hour, and this is the Mount Blue Hills. Mount Rush Hour. And this was a friend of mine, Tom Barnes, came up with the idea, and I painted it, and, wow. uh, and I sold it, and I got a new car! Yes! And some other <laughs> things, and oh, it, it kick-started cool. my life out here. Mm. Um, it was a very commercial. I'm still selling the posters, uh -huh. and we have the coffee cups and the... Uh, uh -huh. uh, how long ago was this? A couple of years ago I painted it, and, mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. just been a... This is actually a print. The original mm -hmm. was bought by a, a collector in New Hampshire. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, oh, it's, congratulations. Yeah, it's fun. So you continue painting yeah, here I'm still painting. in yeah. addition to all of the other... Touring, yeah, doing the Robin work. Williams tribute, which is... In all of, like 50 city tour, it's why wow. I'm so punchy. Uh -huh. um, yeah. It's been wonderful though. People really respond to the show, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some people say I really feel Robin in the room. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I said, well, thank you. I'm mm -hmm. working hard to bring you that. It's, I want to give people a good experience and what it was like for us yes. uh -huh. when Robin first came on the scene, mm -hmm. you know, as Mark. Mm -hmm. And then people said the air changed in the room. They just brought this incredible energy and mm -hmm. in this unbridled air, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So kind of thing that people had never really seen. So I'm trying to capture that. And it's exhausting. It's, yeah. it's like hang gliding in a windstorm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what helps you bring Robin? I watch his videos endlessly. Mm -hmm. I watch mm -hmm. Mork and Mindy. So we got some sort of thing like this, oh, okay. And then I watch his interviews with, you know, um, Letterman mm -hmm. and sort of get a, a, a more introspective Robin. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I watch his movies where he can be very inspirational and just plain old heartfelt Robin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the stand up. Yeah. That's where <laughs> the, the top comes up. Uh -huh. Sorry, we're closed. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh dear, time to shut up now. Mm -hmm. Shh, it's okay. And then I go home and I dig in the dirt and I dig artifacts out of the dirt to get back to the earth and I go walk around the lake and uh -huh. hang out in the woods. 
and and that's part of the work. Of that's decompressing Ron. off of the tour. Mm -hmm. That's part mm -hmm. of it. But I do rehearse in the woods with Robin. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people can hear it fire off. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Okay, you know. Have you been in the police log yet? For I that? haven't been in the police <laughs> log for that. Um, uh -huh. But yeah. I, well, I was trespassing when I was digging bottles once, uh -huh. and they uh -huh. said I was a hobo looking for returnable bottles, and I said mm -hmm. I'm an archaeologist, mm -hmm. Indiana Jew, man. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Well, you are an archaeologist, and there is just. Uh, amazing, fascinating uh, artifacts and uh, different parts of history all around you as well as your yeah. art. What a stimulating yeah. place to live. Thank you. It's, yeah. you know, I call it the Museum of Crap and it's in, I'm not going to tell you where it is, but it's in Hopkinton, uh, Hopkinton and uh, yeah, I dug this old farm dumps going back to the mid-1800s, uh -huh. even earlier, but I haven't found them yet. Mm -hmm. um, and there's all these bottles and sort of trinkets from the, the mm -hmm. uh, Victorian era. Mm -hmm. And then there's, you know, stuff from the 30s and 40s and the depression, that's amazing How stuff. exciting. And I do dig yeah. it up. It's a treasure hunt. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Well. Try to stay off of the... Get off of my yard! <laughs> Sorry, I'm an archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. We know you, bottle guy. Mm. Here's a dime. Go! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It happens. Well, <laughs> well uh, it's just a fascinating place uh, that it's, you have, a creative space that well, you have I've to work with. I've never had my own place before. I've mm -hmm. been married and I've had roommates and this is, if I had my own place, this is why I would decorate it this way. Mm -hmm. And I did. Yeah, yeah. It's this big open space that used to be a general store. Uh -huh. And it's fun. It's really, it, it has a very communal spirit to it. Mm -hmm. People come in, you know, we have coffee and it's kind of open to the to the world a little bit. Not too open. I live here. My bed's over there in the corner. We'll be right there, sweetie. Okay, don't, you need anything? Okay. Um, um, and do you sell your art or is it? Yes, it's all commissions. Like that was a commission. That was a commission. This I was not a commission. I just painted this for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. That um, cowboy and horse was a commission. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's how I've made a living. But eventually I had so many commissions to do. I needed to find a way to just start to paint my own thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I started doing um, stand-up again. And then, of course, the Robin thing mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that has sort of paved the way. But I do it for, not for the money, because the money is really not my thing. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm used to being kind of poor. Mm -hmm. I like that people are having an experience, and I'm having, mm -hmm. and Robin somewhere feels it too. Mm -hmm. I can feel him experiencing the laughter mm -hmm. and, uh, and the communion on stage. When mm -hmm. I'm doing a show, sometimes I can feel Robin going, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, good one. Thank you. And we can go further now. <laughs> you know, and it's just yeah, the audience gives yeah. Robin permission to come out and really play, and we come up with some wild stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the show goes when I'm on stage. So I just kind you of just observe. Let go. I had to let go. Mm -hmm. I got it. One time I felt Robin go, "Okay, step aside, please. I got this." <laughs> uh -huh. And I'm like, "What do you mean you have this? Mm -hmm. It's my." But I, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Robin Williams. We got this. Okay. <laughs> Why Robin Williams? Well, when he passed, people were very concerned about me because yes. they knew about my connection with him as, as an impressionist. Mm -hmm. And um, I was okay until one day, you know, and somebody said, are you going to do a tribute? And I said, no. And then I passed by a mirror and I made a face mm -hmm. and it was his face and I felt him and I felt something go through me that was like, let's go back to work. Come on. Mm -hmm. We can do this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. And that I was, was like, jeez, maybe I really have to do this. I feel like Robin wasn't done. He wanted more stage time. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming there may be an element of spiritual something about this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But it's my own desire to bring that back to people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, no, it's okay. Let it go. It's okay. Shh. Whoa. Whoa. It's not just a show. It's a seance. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Trick or trap. All right, all right. What direction do I go next? You just ask the next question. <laughs> yeah. I'll be quiet eventually. Shh, hold on. Wow. Well, it's a, a very interesting and inspiring also that you are bringing Robin Williams' story and self, in a way, back to us who felt unfinished in a way, disconnected, well, lost from all that he brought, the joy I, yeah, uh, that he I don't brought know. to life. I don't know. The mm -hmm. joy that, that, that he brought to life is is the thing that made him make people grieve more than anybody that, mm -hmm. that's ever passed. As far as I'm concerned, the whole world was like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. I don't talk about the death in my act at all. I'm just being Robin alive on stage. And in the movie that I'm doing called Being Robin, mm -hmm. it is about what it's like to be Robin Williams for an hour on stage every night mm -hmm. and sometimes off stage. Mm -hmm. okay. And the, the girlfriend says, what does it feel like? And I say, it's like flying. It's... 
it, I, I'm in an ebullient state when I'm doing Robin, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And that just I feel takes I've, off. It's, yeah, it's an incredible high. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same high he got from making people laugh. Mm -hmm. I get the high from being Robin. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the movie is about um, how that show comes to be and how Robin approaches me and says, hey, let's do this. And I have to learn how to... Because in the movie, I'm just an artist. I'm not an entertainer. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid of people. Mm -hmm. So the character, Teddy, is actually... You know, I'm not an entertainer, but Robin convinces him to go out and try it at an open mic night, and it mm -hmm. goes pretty well. Mm -hmm. And it just grows until he's playing 2,000 seat theaters. And that's my own story. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people will be fascinated to see what it actually takes to be Robin, the energy that it takes, and the commitment, and the relationship that I have comes out in some of the rehearsals in the woods where Robin's like, you know, you don't love me, do you? And I'm like, yeah, I love you. Yeah. And he's, well, you're not respecting me. And then I realized, geez, I'm dealing with Robin Williams. I better show him some respect. Because before, I'm treating him like a dog, like, get out! You're driving me crazy, man! Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pay. Oh, sorry. Oh, never mind. Just an interesting ghost passing through. Never mind. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus, that's not what I meant! Mm -hmm. I just want some peace, man! Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. I'll go. I'll go play in the woods. And then I bring him back in. I say, no, I want to do this with you, but mm -hmm. I can't have my life upside down. My life is upside down, but in a beautiful way. And we're going to make this movie here in Woodville. Wow. I'm uh -huh. producing it, and uh -huh. I'm writing it, and I'm wow, starring in it. that's exciting for the and town. To... Um, the town is hopefully going to, the town's already been supportive. We mm -hmm. raised money to make this movie. I am not taking this to Hollywood. It's not a Hollywood movie where mm -hmm. they'll give me a bunch of money and then put it on the shelf and have Jim Carrey do it. I, I can't. This yeah. is my story. This mm -hmm. is not Robin Williams' life story. This is a story about how one man is affected by Robin's spirit. And then it affects everybody, because mm -hmm. that spirits like that don't die, mm. you know. Mm. So this is your story. It is my story, and it is Robin's story, in a parallel but connected way. What if mm. a man, a regular man, is approached because in the movie I'm an empath. Mm -hmm. I can feel the spirits of the animals, mm -hmm. like this one, mm -hmm. that I paint, and I, especially the memorial ones that that have died. I really go in there and try to find their souls, and when I do, I sometimes get emotional mm -hmm. because I'm really in it, and this character is an empath, and he's the only one that feels Robin's spirit when Robin is like, I gotta go back to work now, please, anybody! Mm. And I'm the one that feels him like, what do you want? I wanna go back to work, you feel me, you hear me? Yeah, I do, mm -hmm. what do you want? I wanna do my show, I wanna go back and do right material and perform it because I miss it, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I'm not an entertainer. Yeah, we'll teach you. Come on in the woods. Wow. And that's what happens in this movie. And it's very powerful, mm -hmm. compelling story within me that I need to tell on film. And mm -hmm. then when I'm done, I go back to painting. Yeah, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. Um, so, what do I want to ask? Hello, Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's your neighbor. I'm uh -huh. really Roger. I, I'm very much just a... Yes, there was one guy that really... drove by the other day. I was getting my mail outside. And he goes, get a job, you hippie. Really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, um, so in, in doing this film, uh, uh, you are getting uh, uh, life lessons also uh, that are coming to you uh, from Robin, from connecting with Robin. Wow. Uh, would you say that's true? Because uh, that's what I hear. And does that go out in the film uh, beyond to yeah. fans as well as just people who can benefit from Robin's yeah, will that's, wisdom? It's a really great question. And I would have to say the lesson that I get is the way it's affected me as a human being. Hmm. His influence as a human being, because he was such a kind person, hmm. has changed me mm -hmm. just by the association. So I find myself being a better kind of a neighbor, a better person mm -hmm. in my dealings. I'm not quite a quick to hit my car horn behind the old lady who's lost. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be patient, I'll wait, mm -hmm. we'll wait, because uh -huh. we're supposed to wait. You're not supposed to terrorize old ladies mm -hmm. trying to find their way. Mm -hmm. and, and I find myself having a better relationship with the world. And in the end of the movie, you'll see how it changes his character and his heart. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't give away the end of the movie, but it's, it's like Field of Dreams with fart jokes. I mean, it's quite... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the only one laughing there. Um, it's quite I don't know what it means. spiritual, but yeah. it's mm -hmm. Robin's sensibility is written right through the movie. Mm -hmm. I won't tell you how it opens, but it's just Robin. Mm -hmm. It's like Robin made a movie, mm -hmm. and I'm working, I'm directing the movie with Robin going, Psst, don't you think we should have her picking her nose? <laughs>
Uh -huh. You yeah. know, and yeah. that's who he was. Yeah. He, his mm -hmm. mom was very naughty, and, and she would do gag, sight gags with things mm -hmm. coming out of her nose at dinner, and she was uh -huh. this very proper lady, but behind the scenes, she would get a whoopee cushion and fill it with water, <laughs> and that's Robin's mom, and that's his uh -huh. influence. Uh -huh. okay. And all that psychology that went into his life, that loneliness mm -hmm. and the depression, while that may be present behind the scenes, it is really about the ebullience of his spirit mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. comes out. So that gets gonna, to live on. I'm gonna. I, I didn't just come to pitch my movie, but no, but um, that is part being of Robin. The, the reality of making a yeah. film. This is the and... most important thing I've ever done as a man. I think this is my opus, mm -hmm. and it's a community mm -hmm. project. That is uh, oh, important for all Hopkinton to hear that. Go fund me. Being Robin, that is where you can donate. And at a certain level of donation, you can be in the film. You can have a part in the film. Ah, There's wow. plenty of roles. Uh -huh. um, or That's you can visit the set. Know. You can be an extra. Mm -hmm. um, and you can just be part of something which is a focus group. So if you donate $10, you can help make decisions about the film. Like, do you like this poster better or, or, or this one? Uh -huh. You know, uh, yeah. this is what I want. That's like Whitehall. <laughs> this is, you know. Uh -huh. So... <laughs> I'm losing control. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, um, so that's very exciting uh, on local. so many levels. Lo uh, locally, local, right. uh, for you, for Robin Williams, uh, and to continue to tell his story out there and affect yeah. the world that sees his and film. I, I do have some of his friends that are very supportive of this uh, project, good. and uh -huh. that's nice. Uh -huh. and, and yeah, it's a good heartfelt project. Mm -hmm. It feels good. Wonderful. And, well, and the goal is to make people happy and to give them something. Yeah. Not yeah. just, because I've seen documentaries and stuff about Robin that were very sad. Mm. And I want yeah. people to be sad about Robin. Remember who he was. He was this great comic genius. Mm -hmm. Very hard to duplicate. It's exhausting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, it's important that you see that part of him. And it sounds like that is uh, your, your job here that you have been called to do. <sighs> it uh, is a calling. That's uh, a great way to put it. It's a job that I've been called to do. Mm -hmm. It wasn't my idea. Mm -hmm. yeah. And nobody's really come and said, hey, dude, you're capitalizing off Robin. You're, make, you know, you're making money off Robin. This was right. his thing. It's what he wanted. I was just yeah. going to paint. And it's a big commitment. And I know you come from L.A. area yeah. and uh, all kind of TV and film I experience have. I have. as producer and yeah. actor. And you were in Carol Burnett. And yeah. 1991 was her last Carol Burnett show, Incarnation. Wow. We did a bunch of great work with Carol mm, Burnett. I love Carol Burnett. Oh, my God. That woman is mm -hmm. just a genius. It's comedy school. Mm -hmm. And I got to work with great people like Martin Short and, mm -hmm. um, and Chris Reeve, you know. And we were in a scene uh, with B.B. Uh, King was on stage with B.B. King. And I was wow. Like, That's B.B. King. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was cool, Something, you know. Yeah, I get starstruck. Great start. moments. Yeah. And you were part of that, and, you, and you're and you back over here. Yeah. And you're focusing your time on this film that you said is not about the money. And it's not. It's I'm not, gonna... not about going out there um, as a big film uh in the mainstream. The riches are elsewhere. Yes. Wherever this mm -hmm. film goes, it, mm -hmm. it may do really well. Yeah, yeah. It may just be shown locally here at the pizza place. But the fact is that Robin saw me do this impersonation of him 10 years ago on TV. Hmm. And he liked it. It uh -huh. got back to me that he really liked my impressions. This is probably why he's in Woodville. Hmm. And I want to give him a, a movie mm -hmm. that he can act in. Yeah. And tie up some loose ends and then go wherever he's supposed to go. This may be all in my head though, Cheryl. I'd love to have a session with you to find out what's really going on. Oh, Am I really channeling? I, I don't I just... have those sessions anymore. You know, how much money will it take you to no. fix me, man? <laughs> uh, but I think, you know, uh, w what if it's imagination? Uh, what if Maybe. it's Robin? Who knows? I think um, it's but... a great story. Whatever the case is, whether yeah. it's imagination mm -hmm. or it's a real spiritual event mm -hmm. or a miracle, mm -hmm. it happened. Mm -hmm. And it's happening in my life. That's right. I have felt so strongly his presence at various moments. Sometimes when I hug people, I can feel them go, oh, yeah, mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I can mm -hmm. feel his spirit moving through me, and it's a very, very real thing to me. I've had mm -hmm. spiritual experiences throughout my life. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm one of those, I don't know what you call sensitive people, you know. Yeah. But uh, I feel stuff. Yeah. I feel people very strongly mm -hmm. and animals. Well, I, uh... Part of the woods, all of this.
And so the woods are helpful for bringing that forth also. A connection Very. to spirituality. Oh, first time and when I say imagination, I also say that that can be connect. That is what spirituality is it as is. well. But it is. It's play. Mm -hmm. it's so imagining. you are educating us as well. Um, I don't know. I'd like to. I, yeah. I mean, what we did earlier about just freeing your spirit is a big part of my show. The show mm -hmm. and the movie will have a message about freeing yourself Good. and spreading love mm -hmm. to eliminate this cloud of hate that's come over us mm -hmm. as oh. a nation, as a as a planet it's about healing and bringing people together and I think if Robin had a mission that would be part of it to heal the environment to heal our, the brotherhood and sisterhood of men and women well what an important film and I can't maybe. wait to see it thanks and I can't wait to learn do more of the story sure maybe yes. this interview will put a, put a chunk of it in <laughs> I that's why be, I, dress I won't up be as the a, improviser for you but uh, you were, I, though. You were I wonderful. will support I this I am so, so looking forward to it uh, we have probably one more minute let's see what uh, did you get to any of your questions <laughs> no but it's all right but uh, uh, so Robin, Robin Williams' wish for the world and future generations in like uh, 30 seconds. Oh, don't one take, minute. Don't take <laughs> yourself too seriously. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know? yeah your that's... work, your passions are serious, your relationships. But I, 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 I wear myself loosely mm -hmm. and I have more fun that way. Mm -hmm. And I think that would be good. Um, it's about bringing the love to whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. your love and your passion and your wit, and freeing yourself from the confines of what people expect of you. Mm -hmm. By the way, that's a gorgeous scarf. Thank you. Thanks. I, was, I was like, wow. Um, so that's Robin, and now Roger Cabler. Ditto! Ditto. Same thing. Just same that's thing. That's what I'm doing, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. it, it, it okay. com it's, it's sort so of, that's where we meet, with that desire to give people a good experience. Mm -hmm. This isn't about me. Mm -hmm. I'm a deliverer. I'm a messenger, yeah. okay? I When I paint, this is just a gift to Boston. I want to give people a good experience. I mean, and what I, a great thing to see well, if you were driving a rush hour. I'm not going to talk about God, but I think that I'm just the guy who lays the bricks and somebody else designed the plan. Mm -hmm. Something else made this design. Well, that's an, a really it's a great, totally uh, like spiritual concept. <laughs> yes. like, yeah. I was in California for a while. In New York, I was in New York too, because I'm like, yeah, you know, I got to go like get my training. And, uh -huh. and so like California, New York, and Massachusetts too, so I don't know where my thing is coming from. Is that uh -huh. accent good? Yeah. It's all yes. great fun though. We have to have l fun and we loosen have have up. Fun. Mm -hmm. And then our hearts are open for to receive goodness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from each other and love. Yeah. <gasps> yes, well, uh, that's that's I a mean perfect it, way. I do mean it. That's I, how Robin's I get that me. from you. Yeah, yes, thanks. and, and you what too. a blessing you too. Um, that you have, and also a great deal of work. And I wish you the best. And I thanks. really look forward to seeing what evolves and seeing, me too. seeing the film <laughs> thanks, on screen. <laughs> the movie's gonna be improvised a bit too, mm -hmm. quite a bit. It's yeah. very funny. I think people are gonna find it very funny. It's very exciting. So thank you so much. Thank you, Sharon.